Photographers, do you want to know how to automatically design albums, wall art, and cards that you're in total control of? Jump into this tutorial of Fundy Designer V11 with the Design For Me presets. So you can set up which album your wedding clients use, which album your engagement clients use, which album uh, your wedding clients that chose the lesser package use, and you can automate all of this with the new Design For Me one-click designer. Let's dive in, I'll show you how it works. To become an advanced user, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks here. Let's click Start Project. Next, we're going to import photos. Let's choose Intelligent Retouch, and I'll show you how to alter that later. And now, I'm gonna show you how to create your own wedding packages portrait packages, et cetera, right here. So this one click auto design can be whatever you would like it to be. Also, I'm gonna show you how to influence that auto design. So let's exit out of here. First thing I'm going to do is click the design wizard and let's go ahead and choose your album company and choose your book line and choose the book size that you would like to set up for a preset. Also, let's do a metal cameo cover for this one. Next is the wall art. I recommend starting with designs that sell. Your cards. Now remember, you can always download unlimited number of cards. We have over 200 card designs up here in the card design section. And then slideshow. Let's say you want your default to be a wedding album IPS slideshow. And with the new slideshow templates, you can create as many templates as you want and load them. So let's say this is our default wedding preset. 15 by 10 album with a cameo, wall art, cards, and that type of slideshow. I'm going to save this new preset. Let's name it My Wedding Package Preset. And now that's saved. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. I'll show you one more advanced design item. Double click on any image and let's go to the grid view by clicking that top left icon. And I'm going to increase the size of these thumbnails just a touch. First thing I'm going to do is go through and choose my cover photo. Let's say this is the cover photo. Under tag options, we can click cover photo or we can hit the C key. Next, let's go ahead and make this a panorama. So I can click this button or hit the P key. And what we're doing is we're telling the auto design what to do. Additionally, uh, let's go ahead and say that I want these photos here to be on the same spread. I'm going to hit the G key or the group button. Now this is very useful, especially when you have bride and groom getting ready mixed up, right? So you don't end up with bride and groom on the same spread. So let's go ahead and cruise through here. Let's also take these two photos that are black and white and group those two together so they're on the same spread. And then let's make this a pano also. So this is how you can influence what the auto design does. I'm also going to do that with these guys here because those are portraits and I don't want them mixed up with this group photo. So let's exit out of here. And again, we're just telling the auto design what we want to do. Now I'm going to click design for me and I'm going to choose that my wedding package preset that we just created. Now remember, you can download thank you cards. We have wall art collections to download, a ton of slideshow songs that you can create your own templates with. Be sure to watch the new slideshow tutorial on how to create your own templates and use the AI beat match. Now let's click auto design and everything's been designed. Let's go ahead and click on that album. All right, so it's beautiful. Now remember, we can take we can move spreads around. We can open up this play with the drop zones. I can click fit that, you know, we can manually move things around, change the cropping, 
click here to see all of the design options. I like this one. Adjust the cropping. And then here, let's see what we have here. Let's go with, let's go with this one here. And then we'll adjust that cropping down here. And again, you can flip the design. Let's hit the space bar to flip that over. Some ad advanced tips and tricks. And once you have the design that you love, you can create a new proof. You can export that or order direct from the lab and then move on to wall art. The different cards and adjust those card designs. And then of course your slideshow, which you can use to show your clients the design in person over a Zoom or in-person sales session, or you can export that slideshow, sell it to them, or you can upload the slideshow to our online slideshow delivery system, which allows your clients to share your slideshow with their friends and family. Now remember, if you do that, be sure to go ahead and add your studio logo and your a title slide that has your website address, etc. Those are the advanced tips that help you become an expert with Fundy Designer. If this tutorial was helpful, be sure to click like and subscribe and we'll keep bringing you helpful tutorials both from me and our ambassadors.